Good old cotton. It's great, right? The white fluff stuff we all like to wear. Seems like since it's so great, we'd be able to eat it like any other plant, right? Wrong. Glucose is divided into part A and part B. We can eat part A, but we can't eat part B. That's why we can't eat cotton. The plant consists of more part B than part A. Likewise, animals' muscles consist of more part A than the part B. The animals that can consume part B have to digest it multiple times like cows, or have bacteria in their digestive system break it down for them, and thanks to these lovely bonds and the oxygen in it that makes cellulose extremely flammable. One nam named something observed this and invented gun cotton by pulling the hydrogen out and replacing it with nitrogen oxide. This great invention led him to burning his wife's apron to a crisp. This leads directly into the development of nitro compounds. Gunpowder was the first explosive ever invented, consisting of potassium nitrate, carbon, and sulfur, which leads into the speeds of the explosives, which are either fast or slow. Dynamite is a fast explosive. <laughs> while anthro and gunpowder are slow. Ironically enough, Nobel, creator of the Nobel Peace Prize, also mixed nitroglycerin with gunpowder to create dynamite, or TNT. Obviously, the uses of these explosives can be good, like demolitions, 